Welcome, welcome. If anyone's listening, thank you for listening. This one is from India.com, and it's by the India.com viral desk. It is ghost video. Baby gets pulled underneath the bed by a ghost. Dad shares horrifying footage. In the ghost video, the baby gets out of her bed, walks to a pillow, and crawls underneath it while crying and shouting mommy several times. As she screams, her legs seem to disappear, and she seems to be dragged slowly underneath the bed. So these are these images. They don't really... The images don't really give you... Um, the real feel of the video but so a video has emerged online showing the terrifying moment a baby appeared to be pulled underneath her bed by something paranormal or apparently a ghost the scary footage was uploaded on popular social media platform tiktok and claims to show the paranormal activity as claimed by her father joss dean the creepy incident happened late night on february 21st when the little girl was lying at the end of her bed playing with her toys however at 11:37 p.m something bizarre seems to happen she gets out of her bed, walks to the pillow, and crawls underneath it while crying and shouting mommy several times. As she screams, her legs seem to disappear, and so she seems to get pulled. But to me, it, it uh, I'll show you the video here in a second, but what it honestly seems like is it's like she's messing with something underneath the bed, and then she gets off the bed, and then she crawls towards the head of her bed, and then she kind of like her upper half kind of goes underneath. And then as you kind of see her being pulled, then she starts screaming for mommy, which to be absolutely honest, makes the video just that much creepier. But um, instead of me speaking, I will show you said video. is very creepy real or not that is creepy um not only is it creepy because of honestly what happens to the child of course but the fact that they're playing like little like childish music in the background it's like a it's like they clipped a scene from like the new it movie or something like that um but anyway uh very uh very creepy and she doesn't seem to be saying mommy in a uh, any kind of way besides she seems very frightened. So, yeah. Um, weird video. Thank you. Here's a strange little short story here. This is by Herrer.com. And it is by Audrey Nakube. And it is horror as mysterious invisible creature pelts Gwanda family with stones. So we have, in a bizarre development, a uh, Gwanda family is reported to be living in perpetual fear after enduring sustained attacks by an invisible mysterious creature using stones. Stories of mysterious creatures or invisible beings tormenting families have throughout history been dismissed as mere superstition. For skeptics, mysterious creatures do not exist. Such mysterious circumstances only happen in the movies, not in real life. However, such is not the case for a family in Gwanda, as they are being terrorized by an invisible creature that pelts them with mysterious stones. Narrating her, orde or her ordeal to the ZBC News, Portia Zhao said her family is gripped by fear as they are getting pelted by stones by a mysterious invisible creature. She said the attacks have been going on for quite some time now, and they have become rampant and even more violent. 
She says they are now living in fear as they suspect the mysterious creature is a goblin. She added that they are also they also informed their neighbors about the strange happenings. The neighbors offered an invest to investigate, but were perplexed as they couldn't see where the stories were coming from or who is attacking them. Neighbors who spoke to the state media revealed that at first they all thought this was a joke until they also started to receive their fair share of attacks for providing the tormented family with refuge. When our neighbors came to tell us, we thought it was a joke until a huge pebble missed my leg. I am in a state of shock. I am leaving the house to sleep with my sister-in-law at, at my sister's-in-law's place, the neighbor said. Um, yeah, there's uh, no really a video or any kind of images. Of course, there's images of stones or pebbles. I'm not entirely sure. Big stones, little stones. I mean, obviously, it'd be annoying after a while. But um, me personally, uh, my first thought when I read this was you hear this come a lot from Bigfoots. Um, I know they say goblins, but, you know, if you read anything with Bigfoot, they're notorious for throwing stones or anything from stones to boulders. But that's just my opinion. Thank you. So here's an interesting one. American Airlines not denying possible UFO spotting says talk to the FBI. Um, this was an incident not too long ago where the actual there's actual audio of the pilot contacting, um, I think, air traffic control in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And he seems fairly confused on what just happened, but he seems fairly honest and he doesn't really want to bring up the idea that it could be something unidentified or um, a UFO of some kind. But in the end, he kind of... Uh, goes to that and first off before i even get to the article they have the audio right here it's just audio of course since it's a radio transmission and i will let you listen to said audio have any targets up here we just had something go right over the top of us that i hate to say this looked like a long cylindrical object that almost looked like a cruise missile type of thing moving really fast that went right over the top of us have any targets up here we just had something go right over the top of us that i hate to say this looked like a long cylindrical object that almost looked like a cruise missile type of thing moving really fast that went right over the top of us have any targets up here we just had something go right over the top of us that i hate to say this looked like a long cylindrical object that almost looked like a cruise missile type of thing moving really fast that went right over the top of us There is the audio. Um, they do play it a few times, and why not? It's very interesting to hear that. You don't, you don't typically, you know, you don't get that kind of information. But um, I will say that this is the the audio is courtesy of Steve Douglas from Deep Black Horizon. So he's the one that got that. So I thought it'd be nice to uh, give him a little uh, little credit there. Anyway, an American Airlines passenger jet traveling from Cincinnati to Phoenix encountered an apparent UFO over northeastern New Mexico Sunday afternoon. The pilot on a flight 2292 stated after 1 p.m. Eastern uh, Central Standard Time and said that the unidentified object was flying right on top of them according to a transmission recorded by Steve Douglas on his blog, Deep Black Horizon. American Airlines verified to Fox News that the transmission is from flight 2292. Do you have any targets up here? We just had something fly right over the top of us, the pilot said in the radio transmission. And then, of course, uh, what he said, of course. So, American Airlines confirmed that the radio transmission is authentic, but did not give any further comment on the possible alien encounter. Following a debrief from our flight crew and additional information received, we can confirm that this radio transmission was from American Airlines Flight 2292 on February 21st in American Airlines spokesman told Fox News in a statement. For any additional questions on this, we encourage you to reach out to the FBI. The FBI did not immediately respond to a request for comment. That is the most shocking part of this article. They are typically very, very quick to respond.
Sorry. Flight 2292 was about 37,000 feet at the time of the sighting, and Albuquerque Central did not respond because local air traffic inter, um, interfered, according to Douglas. The flight went on to land in Phoenix, Arizona. New Mexico is home of White Sands Missile, Missile Range, which is located in the southern part of the state and is described as the Department of Defense's large, largest fully instrumented open air range. Scott Stearns, the chief of public affairs at White Sands Missile Range, said the range was not testing anything on Sunday and also noted that the distance between the missile range and the northeastern New Mexico was about 400 miles. We have no idea what it could have been or if anything similar had been sighted in that area before, Stearns said in a statement to Fox News. And then, of course, we go to thousands of UFO sightings are reported each year, but encounters of pilots have received increased attention recently. In February 2018, two, two pilots separately encountered an object um, beaming light at roughly 50,000 feet in eastern Arizona. So, the, um, so obviously, with the whole Tic Tac situation, I think that's brought more um, people caring about the pilots and perhaps even maybe more of um, the pilots being able to report and maybe not so much attempt to lose their jobs by saying it. I can't say for sure, of course, um, but hopefully, hopefully, you know, you could just say you saw something crazy or saw something weird and no one's going to go after you, but yeah. And I, I don't really expect the U. I don't, I don't expect the FBI to come back with a, with a statement. Oh yes, actually, um, after further record, it was a UFO. I don't think, yeah, FBI is not going to do that. But I'm rambling. Thank you.